Barbie is co-written by Noah Bombach and Greta Gerwig and directed by Greta Gerwig from Sacramento, California. Awesome. Good job, Greta Gerwig, for making a big blockbuster movie. One of my absolute favorites, and we're both from Sacramento, and you are like the pride <laughs> of Sacramento. She famously made the movie called Lady Turd, uh, sorry, Lady Bird from Sacramento, which is an indie movie that everyone in Sacramento loves, apparently. I personally wasn't a fan of Lady Turd, but hey. Sacramento on the map, baby. So good job, Greta Gerwig. The Barbie movie stars Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling in a role that it's probably 10 years too late for both of them. Although the thing is, Ryan Gosling pulls it off. Like, Ryan Gosling just slays this whole movie. He is having fun. He is hamming it up. Margot Robbie still does a great job. She fills her role. She does what she needs to do with this movie. So the way this movie was marketed was absolutely genius. They said, if you love Barbie, you'll love this movie. If you hate Barbie, you'll love this movie. So I'm like, okay, that's brilliant. All right. Maybe I, someone like me, not that I'm going to hate a movie about a doll. Like it's not something that I'm really going to be up in arms about. And some people are completely up in arms about this movie. Like uh, Ben, what's his name? Ben, this guy. The movie's a shit show. He went on like a 45 minute rant about the Barbie movie. He's like, dude, calm down. It's a movie. All right, guys. At the end of the day, it's a movie. Let's not get completely outraged. You don't have to like it. You don't have to talk about it if you don't like it. If it's going to be like this anti-man feminist movie, I I'd probably just cringe a whole lot. But I'm not going to like go out of my way to hate this movie. You know, it's not geared towards me. That's what a lot of critics say that don't want to admit that they hate the feminist message. They're like, well, it's not for me, right? <laughs> it's like, it obviously isn't for me. And the people that made this movie don't really like men. I would actually go as far to say as they hate men. Um, and so like being a female empowerment movie is one thing, like being pro woman, being pro rah, rah, let's go girls. I'm all for that. Like, let's do that. We need more of those types of movies. We need girls to get the confidence to become whatever it is that they want to become and the barbie movie had that message and and i was like okay it starts off this way i thought it was very funny it was very twilight zone episode the production design is off the charts of this film if you're looking at the production design like complete a plus design work it was stellar like flawless the way they did it was absolutely great shapiro that's what i was thinking of ben shapiro okay so, uh, let me take, uh, uh, like, ah, Ben Shapiro, uh, Barbie movie, you know, it's like, dude, calm down. This movie is made for no one. Barbie is a Barbie girl living in a Barbie world. And I love the, the gags, the side gags that are in there. Like, she turns the water on and it doesn't work. She's drinking and there's nothing there. The shoes off, it, you know, that's definitely going to be a, a scene that everyone's going to remember no matter what. I'm like. That's brilliant. I thought it's really funny. And it reminded me of a Twilight Zone episode of a character that doesn't know that they're a toy. And then they realize that they're a toy. And now they're having this existential crisis. And I thought that that was kind of what it was going to be. And then go into the real world and it'd be this crazy fish out of water story, which it was. It was a fish out of water story about Barbie being in the real world. Ken decides to tag along. and But what I found really interesting about it was that the real world was just as fake as her fake Barbie world. <laughs> like, everyone in the in the real world, every guy at least, was this complete over-the-top male chauvinistic pig. Horrible guys. It's like, as soon as Barbie goes into Venice Beach, she just gets slapped on the ass. Like, like that happens all the time, right, ladies? Does that, does that happen to you? You go to Venice Beach and you just get your ass slapped randomly. I don't know, maybe I can't ex say that I can experience that, but from living in that area, being on Venice Beach, I never once saw that, not saying that it doesn't happen, but I guess Barbie, whenever she shows up anywhere, she just gets completely, you know, poor her, right? She's this beautiful woman that guys are hitting on and saying, hey, baby, like the highlight of the movie, ironically, isn't Barbie, it's actually Ken. Ryan Gosling is having the time of his life. He is having a ball, even though when he's get, given the material that is just absolutely anti himself alone, <laughs> like it's completely like Ken is just this idiot doll, like afterthought type thing. Like, oh, no one gives a shit about Ken. And he's just there. But he's this happy go lucky, like golden retriever type guy. Even if you hate men, you will love Ken. And like, I, I'm sorry, any feminist that's watching this that is raging anti-man, like, uh, I urge them to find a way, an excuse to hate Ryan Gosling. I mean, this guy 
is just, he's like this golden retriever. He's this guy that everyone likes. He's having a ball with what he's doing. He's having a fun time. And you know what? That movie looked like it was ha- like like it was a ball. It looked like it was a blast to film. It looked like they had a blast on set. And it's a complete smash hit. I mean, you can't deny this. And and the whole Barbenheimer thing was great. People say, oh, no one could have predicted it. Well, you know what? <laughs> I could have predicted it. I did predict it. I said, hey, it's going to be a huge, it's obviously going to be a huge smash hit. Barbie would have a big drop number two it did have a big drop but when you start way high the actual big drop was 90 million dollars still so if you're raking in 90 million dollars even on opening weekend you're doing pretty darn well so barbie movie does have legs pun intended and uh which by the way margot robbie does look great as barbie she looks great as i said her and ryan gosling are probably 10 years past this whole role role i always pictured barbie and ken being like 18 years old like right out of high school or like 16 17 18 that that age i don't know is there an age that barbie's supposed to be i don't know i'm not the barbie expert here i am a grown man talking about barbie over here (laughs) ultimately it's a good thing because if a mom and her daughter wants to watch the barbie movie the husband and the son can go watch sound of freedom baby watch sound of freedom baby (laughs) no just kidding watch uh oppenheimer so Oppenheimer is another option, although I'm not sure if you're a young teen boy, if you want to watch a three hour long movie about uh, the atom bomb, I probably would have been one of those kids that that would have wanted to watch it. So I I thought it was a perfect storm. It was a perfect storm. And when I went to see the movie, actually, I went to see Sound of Freedom that weekend and I didn't pay for the Barbie movie ticket. I'm sorry. Sorry, Greta Gerwig. Sorry, Margot Robbie. Sorry, Ryan Gosling. Um, I, I couldn't bring myself to pay for this movie. I I snuck in. Don't worry, it made a whole lot of money anyway. So I I guess I was the only one not wearing pink in the theater, which is disappointing. I should have worn pink, but I my intention were to see was to see Sound of Freedom, and I did, and that was a fantastic, stellar movie with real characters that have real issues. Now going back to fake characters that have fake issues. Barbie is that she has all these problems that she has that she made up in her own mind. All the women have all these made up problems that they think that they're have to be perfect and all this stuff. And look, I don't get, I don't know what it's like to be a woman quite yet, you know, but I'm transitioning. Just kidding. It's a bad joke. Um, but but, you know, and, and of course all guys are just bumbling idiots. Talk to a doctor. You are talking to a doctor. I need a clicky pen. No, a sharp thing. No, complete jerks. Chauvinist pigs. The patriarchy is is completely horrible. I, it got to be kind of like a joke where it, they're like, "Oh, the patriarchy's bad." Like, okay, all right. Like, no, it's it's really bad. If you guys don't know the pitch, the YouTube channel Pitch Meeting, they're hilarious. He put this precisely of what it was. This whole patriarchy thing, it's bad. It's not good at all. That's. Uh huh. And if you really think about it, the patriarchy is actually, it's not a good thing. I feel like you've gotten the point across. It's just not really fair, is it? The patriarchy, I mean. Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I understand and agree. Patriarchy, more like not good yarky. Am I gonna get in trouble if I say, even though I totally agree with the message, this is kind of a lot? Yeah, probably. Hey, check this out. What are you doing? Did you just literally hit me across the head with the message? I did, yes. I was hoping that this movie would be a lighthearted, fun, woman empowerment movie that anyone can really watch. You know, even the boyfriend can kind of watch and just say, hey, go girls or whatever. And have fun with a Ken character and everyone can go and have a good time. Instead, it turned out to be like a very anti-man movie. Like every man was just horrible. There wasn't a single redeemable guy. Even Ken, they tried to make Ken to be this horrible guy when he's at this uh, Mojo Dojo Casa house and uh, like ruler of the patriarchy. And then, which by the way, they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. They wanted to say, oh, we're not supposed to be just cooking and cleaning up after the men. But then as soon as Ken comes back from the real world and instills the patriarchy into the Barbie world, the women loved it. The women absolutely loved the whole thing about it. They loved doing (laughs) like, so so it's like oh, wait so which way is it which way do you want to do like what 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 side are you choosing and then the part where Barbie gets called a fascist I mean wow this is this is like getting really really serious I mean that daughter had zero redeeming qualities the spoiled brat that was the daughter of America Ferrera 
And then America Ferrera had like some complex things going on with her. She was the one that was sad having this existential crisis about Barbie. Her husband, shocker, is a bumbling idiot trying to learn Spanish. I mean, and there's not a redeemable guy in this movie. She goes to the board of directors at Mattel. Of course, they're all male chauvinist pig idiots. Um, and of course, when you look at what Mattel really was, the CEO is a woman. Um, she was the CEO for 30 years. She didn't pay her taxes, apparently, got into a lot of problems. But half the board of directors are women in real life. So it's like, all right, we're, this world that they're trying to carve into it, this whole men are horrible, women are the best, like, it's just not, I don't know, it's just, it take, it sucked the fun, at least as a guy watching it, I can only speak from the male perspective. It's, it's, it sucked a lot of the fun out of it, where I honestly did laugh, like, the first 20 minutes, I'm like, okay, this, this is pretty funny. And, but then it just like, and, and there was a lull in the actual theater where there were a lot of laughs the first like 20 minutes or so. And then there was a huge gap where there were like no laughs, especially when Barbie was like being called a fascist and she's like supposed to be feeling real tears. I'd, I'd honestly like laugh it off like, okay, well, like I don't, if she's a doll, like she do, probably doesn't know what fascist means. So it was, it was very, very bizarre. And also the co-writer of this movie is this man named Noah uh, Beinbaum, Noah Beinbaum, he made a movie starring Greta Gerwig called White Noise. Anyone heard of this movie? No? Yeah, exactly. It's all these like pretentious type film type movies. And now he's co-writing the Barbie movie, which is a big Hollywood smash hit. So it had this big perfect storm of, I think with the controversy, it helped the movie it, and it pummeled it and, it and it took it to that next level. Will it have longevity? Is it going to be dated in about three years? I hope so. I, I believe so. The best part about the Barbie movie, other than Ken, was the production design. The production design of the film was spot on A+. I give it an A plus rating for that production design. For a movie, look, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say I was triggered by it. I, I was definitely kind of just cringed a lot during this movie. The audience was dead silent pretty much three quarters of the movie. They did laugh the first 20 minutes. They actually laughed towards the end too. I give the movie three out of 10, baby. Not the worst movie I've ever seen, but three points for the production value. Good job, guys. Good job, Greta Gerwig. Uh, she's got a very, very bright future ahead of her. Uh, Margot Robbie, of course, is great. And Ryan Gosling is the man. Is that too harsh? Three out of ten? Mm, I don't think so. What do you guys think of the Barbie movie? Leave that in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you want to subscribe and see more movie reviews. This is Movie Day, the day where we talk about movies. By the way, guys, I'm a filmmaker, creator, writer, director, producer, myself. I make my own movies as well, but I love movies and I wanted to create this show on my channel so I can channel my thoughts of movies. The next movie that I will be reviewing is Oppenheimer. So stay tuned for that one. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.